it's Terry Sabel Foy, your cheerleader of dreams. You know, for years and years, my husband Roddy and I would always say that we were going to save money. In fact, every January 1st, that would be the second New Year's goal on my list. First was always to get closer to God. Second was to save money. Well, year after year, I would never check that one off. Basically, we were no better off from one year to the next. We were exactly the same. Well, it's heartbreaking to me to look back and think that if we had just saved $20 a week, that's over $1,000 a year. What if we'd done that consistently for 10 years? That's $10,000 that we would have accumulated from just skipping a fast taco lunch every week. Well, to me, it's nuts to think about, but no, we stayed the same year after year just wishing we could save money someday. Well, I remember actually hearing about a tribe in Asia who would yell curses at their enemies. And the worst thing they could think of to yell was, may you stay in one place for the rest of your life. That was a curse. Well, I lived under that curse for too many years because nothing changed, nothing improved, nothing got better. Finally, I began to learn how to properly set goals. Oh, and real quick, that's your free download this week. It's my goal setting crash course, and I'll explain later how to access that. But anyway, back when I was learning how to set goals the right way, it wasn't enough to just say, save money. I had to get specific about how much money. I had to make it measurable. I had to give it a deadline. And then I had to think of specific action steps that I could realistically take to achieve the goal. So I remember, I set a goal to save $5,000 by December 31st. Well, I broke it apart into months. Okay, I need to save $420 each month. And then I reevaluated our budget. I decided to cut some things out, like I could do without getting my nails done for a few months and put that money toward the vision. Um, I had hired a housekeeper to come once a month back then to just help me out because I was traveling so much with my job. Well, I canceled the housekeeping. I started taking a sandwich to lunch and stopped eating out. I looked around the house and I sold an old iPhone. I sold jewelry. I sold clothing, paintings, bicycles, Cassidy's old toys. I had a big garage sale. What happened? Well, as Grant Cardone says, I 10 x my efforts. I took massive action to achieve that goal. And guess what? We reached it. We had the $5,000 by December 31st. So, Here's the number one indicator that what you're doing is working or not working. Your results. Your results don't lie. In fact, Jack Canfield said, the easiest and fastest and best way to find out what is or isn't working is to pay attention to the results you're currently producing. He said, you're either rich or you're not. You're either overweight or you're not. You're either growing or you're not. So they say, you've probably heard this before, that you can have excuses or you can have results, but you're not gonna have both, right? So let me ask you, are you getting closer to the goals that you say you really want or not? Because results tell us how important your goals truly are to you. In fact, if you set a goal to save money, you should have some money built up. If you set a goal this year to go on a dream trip, you should have the details all picked out. When you step on the scale, have you lost weight or are you still the same as you were in January? When you open up your laptop, have you written the first chapter of your book or is it still in your heart? You know, when your credit card statement shows up, have you paid off a significant amount of debt or is it still piling up? Again, not trying to be too hard. I'm just saying results don't lie. So if you don't like the results you're currently getting, it's time to change what you're doing, right? Brian Tracy said it like this. He said, there's three essential conditions for change. Number one, you must sincerely want to change. You must have an intense desire to truly have more, be more, do more than you currently are. It's like that old question, how many psychiatrists does it take to change a light bulb? The answer is only one, but the light bulb must really want to change. <laughs> I like that. Number two, Brian Tracy said, you must be willing to change. You know, many people say they want something, but in their hearts, they're not really willing to give up their old life, old habits, old patterns to get what they say they really want. You know, you may say you want to save money, but you're not really willing yet to stop shopping and spending all your extra money or stop eating out. 
So number three is you must be willing to make efforts. You know, Brian Tracy said it like this, you must be willing to persevere for a long time without much evidence of progress. So you have to determine to stick with it for the long haul. Think about it. It's taken you years to become the person you are, so you must be willing to work hard to become someone different. So let me ask you this. If one of your top three goals for this year is to save money, could you do more than you're currently doing? For most people, the answer is yes. So I wanna challenge you to do the same thing I'm doing. Here's your action steps for this YouTube video. Number one is I wanna challenge you to write down your top three biggest goals for this year. Now you may have more like seven or 10, that's fine, but I want you to narrow it down to your top three most important, biggest goals you would love to achieve this year. In fact, in this week's free download, I put together my checklist for writing goals because setting goals the right way is actually halfway to achieving it. So click the link in the description to get that checklist, my free goal setting crash course to help you out. So when you get the course, it's absolutely free this week. So this is my way of thanking you for helping me grow this channel to reach more people. So all you have to do is click the link in the description, get the free goal setting crash course today. So think about your top three goals. Number two, don't freak out list 20 action steps you could take for number one. I told you, don't freak out. You have to think hard, think long, think creatively. After you see your top three most important goals, just start brainstorming the first one with 20 different ideas and ways that you could realistically achieve that goal. I'm telling you, it's gonna motivate you to think hard, think differently. You're gonna start seeing ways that this could really happen this year. Trust me on this, like I said, don't let this overwhelm you. Get determined to check these off. So what you do is you structure your goals as questions. How can I save $5,000 by December 31st? See, it's an open-ended question. Then force yourself to write 20 answers to that question. Trust me, it is worth the effort. And I'm just telling you what I do myself. So to save $5,000 by December 31st, you could say, Well, I could work longer hours. I could get a part-time job. I could learn some new skills and get paid more. I could start an e-commerce business. I could join the multi-level marketing team that my friend's been asking me to join. Um, I could sell some stuff online. So see, it starts forcing you to dig deep into your mind where you're gonna find creative answers. Now, goal setting experts say, you must write 20 because the first four or five, they come easy. But when you get to idea six or seven or eight or nine, man, you start pushing your mind to be more creative. Whether it's writing your book or growing your YouTube channel or getting out of debt, going on your dream trip or buying your dream car, write 20 different answers or ways to answer that question or achieve the goal. And then select the ideas that you're gonna take action on immediately. Like turn it into a to-do list. These are action steps to achieve your goals. These are like mini goals. So choose the easiest one, the easiest step to just get you going. Let me ask you, can you do this? Remember what I said, if it's important to you, you'll find a way. If it's not, you'll find an excuse, right? I'm telling you, you can do this. So the third action step, is take action. Take action this week on one. Here's the thing, saying you want something will not get you results. You've gotta take action. You know, they say you can be a spectator or you can be a participator in life. And what separates the best from the rest is they take massive action. So go down the list of 20 things and choose at least one action step that you will take. Not you might take, you could take. No, you will take it this week. Then pick another one and start going down the list. And I'm telling you, you will not be in the same place next year at this time. You will be amazed at what you will accomplish in a short time. And I love this African parable that says, every morning in Africa, a gazelle wakes up and it knows that it must run faster than the fastest lion or it'll be killed. Every morning, a lion wakes up and it knows that it must outrun the slowest gazelle or it will starve to death. It doesn't matter whether you're the lion or you're the gazelle. When the sun comes up, you better be running. (laughs) I like that. So 
Experts say, when you get inspired to do something, if you don't do something about it within 24 hours, chances are you never will. So I wanna encourage you, start today by getting your goals clearly mapped out. Get your free goal setting crash course by clicking the link in the description and one more thing, would you do me a favor? You know, we're really believing to grow this channel this year. And one of the 20 ways that I wrote down to reach my goal is to ask you. Now the Bible says you have not because you ask not. So would you help me by clicking the subscribe button right now? And I want you to know how much I truly appreciate you. And don't forget, I'm cheering you on to live your dreams. Hey YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to get more inspirational content, click one of these videos right here. And remember, I'm cheering you on to live your dreams.